can go. Another life skill that's crucial for life is how to write a check. So, this is what a fully filled out check looks like. So up here you have, it'll be your name, address, um, city, state, and then here is paid to the order of. So this is the person that you're gonna be paying. And then you have the date, how much you're paying, just a little description of like what you're paying, like what the check is going towards. So in this case, it's groceries. And then down here is your signature. So now we're gonna fill out a check so you can see the steps. So up here's the date. So today is May 18th and you're gonna write it out. And then you already have the 20 for like 2000. So we'll just write 16 or whatever year it is. And then page of the order of. So today we're gonna be paying to the order of Maria found. <laughs> and we're gonna be paying her $10. And when, if you only have a small amount, like 10, you're just gonna, you can either write and or just a little squiggly to the end. So I prefer squiggly, just so like you can't write anything else. And then over here, you're gonna write your cents. So if I wanted to give her $10.50, I'll just write 50 over 100. And then if you're just paying her a solid, like full amount, of just ten dollars or just write zero zero over one hundred so now up here you have to write it out in decimal form so it's gonna be ten fifty like that and down here is what you're paying for and this is optional you don't have to write it if you don't want to but just for this case of filling it out I'll say hmm, folders and then down here you just write it's your signature so whatever your signature is just write it so that's how you fill out a check and when you are going to like you can cash in the check or deposit the check into your bank account you just want to make sure on the back it'll say endorse here and then that'll be your signature so then if you're Maria found or when Maria found gets this check she'll endorse it and then sign her name and then she can deposit it or cash it in so just a few tips like when you write a check is that make sure you remember or write down right after you write the check you write down the check number so it's 101 and you write that in your check register so you can keep track of all your checks and in the register you'll be able to like say who the check went to and how much the check was for so you'll never like you will always keep count of where your checks are going and then you could check your bank account to see if like those checks cleared and if they bounced. So if a check bounces, that means you don't have enough money in your checking account. So that means that the check didn't go through and then you didn't pay them. So you would need enough money to be able to pay the check or to have the check go through.